Hello and welcome back to game two in the Agmar Awakens two-handed recorded Mar or the Marvel Champions, geez, Lord of the Rings gameplay. How's everybody doing? Happy to be here today. We are taking on the Weather Hills and we are going to be playing the same decks. We're going we're gonna to see how it goes. I think we can probably sneak by and get through this scenario with the unmodified versions of the two decks. So let's talk about uh, what we are playing. So this is actually 1A. We have set Orc Ambush and Aemon Ford out of side, out of play. Create the Orc deck. That's going to be right over there. I'll shuffle that in a second. And set it next to the Quest deck. I'm going to put it over here. Oh, wait. It's actually not even on screen. I'm going to put it right there. Uh, it's covered by my face. Uh, put it next to the quest deck. Make Exposed Ridge the active location and add Hunting the Orcs and one Weathering Hilltop to the staging area. Shuffle the Encounter deck. I'm going to put that like right there. So what does all of that stuff do? We got Hunting the Orcs. So after a enemy is defeated, place one resource token here. Then if there are at least X resource tokens here, we flip Hunting the Orcs and place each resource token that was on it on savage counter attack where x is three more than the number of players in the game then when we pop over we immediately go to 2a uh and then after an enemy attacks and destroys a character we discard a resource token from savage counter attack but then if we never have any counters on it we lose the game so we have to be cognizant of not chump blocking too too much um and we'll have to figure out. I think that's the biggest concern for me in terms of how how we're going to uh, run with these decks. I don't think we have a huge or a great uh, defensive strategy when it comes to heroes. That could be Dane. Dane is going to be our best option there. Um, we do have some uh, some other allies that potentially may not die, but that's going to be that's going to be the fun one. That's going to be where the the um, the challenge I think comes in with running these decks up against this scenario. Um, when revealed in the current phase, shuffle the encounter deck discard pile um, and the orc deck into the encounter deck. Reveal orc ambush in name and form and add them to the staging area. When these come in, orc ambush. When uh. Yeah, so when revealed, we're going to find a orc enemy and put it into play engage with us. And then all the orc enemies get plus one, plus one, plus one to their stats. And then aim and Forn is immune to player card effects, four threat, six quest points. And while it is the active location, uh, after an orc enemy is added to the staging area, it makes an immediate attack against the first player. And we cannot win while this is in play. So we have to be ready. We have to be ready. I, uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I think I may need to switch up some of these decks and add a little bit more defense to it, but we'll be fine. Cool. So, uh, and then this is a 20. Each damage character gets minus one willpower. At the beginning of the quest phase, either discard one resource token from Savage Counter or reveal an additional encounter card this phase. So, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. We will, we will definitely see how it goes. Um, and then, yeah, so when we flip here, the first weather treachery card, reveal the Tron gain surge. Then after the active location is explored, reveal the top card of the orc deck and resolve its staging as if it was just revealed from the encounter deck. Um, so we're only pushing through as we uh, get orcs by exploring locations, then taking them, destroying them. And once we destroy five of them, uh, then we... Uh, then we progress to stage two. So the 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 little relief that this could offer is that it does give us a, uh, some time to build up. We can spend at least a little bit of time, hopefully, building up. And we'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll, we'll just see how it goes. We are running the same hero lineup. We got Aomer, uh, Mr. H, and Mr. L, Miss L over here on our Gondor Rohan side. Then we got Nori, Ori, and Dane for our... Um, dwarf side. I'm going to run with a first player over here on Nori, Ori, and Dane. So let's go ahead and get six cards. See what we got. 
We got stand and fight. We got the prospector. Sword of Gondor is awesome to see in this opening hand. Hidden cash, Longbeard Elder, and the magic ring. I I like it. Um, the the thing that we're kind of missing here is um a little bit of card draw. Um, which we will get after we play both of these because then Ori will allow us to play multiple or draw two cards every single round. And the ability to flex into different resources with uh, Narvi's belt. But I think I would, I mean, I have Stuart, I have Magic Ring, I have a lot of things that can really help out. So I think we're just gonna, we're gonna keep that. For our Rohan, we got ooh, a War Axe, Aomer's best friend, a Feint. That's gonna be big. I think the Feints are gonna be really nice here because we can then use the Feints to, um, you know, on our. On 2B, chump or not need a chump block. Galadrium's greeting. Amond. And the Horn of Gondor. Which actually is probably not a super great one for this scenario. But I, I wanted to see if I could do it with the same decks. Um, so it's Horn of Gondor is definitely not really what we want. I'm gonna mulligan this. Um Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna mulligan this. We don't have Firefoot, we don't have a ton of allies. Uh and then our resource generator. I don't know. I don't know how effective the Horn of Condor would have been. But. All right. So we're stuck with this hand. We got three, six. Come on. Give me something good. We got the Spearman. We got Westwood Traveler. Spearman, Horse Breeder, Amon, and a war. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Much better hand. Because we're all about allies. And we really want to um, be flooding um, the field with allies. Because when they leave play, Aomer gets bo boosted and all that good stuff. So planning phase over here. We're passing out money. We're drawing the Steward of Gondor. A second one. Let's go. <laughs> uh, it's always great to have two Steward of Gondors, right? We can actually go... We can actually do something kind of weird here. We can... Magic ring onto Dane. With these two, we can exhaust magic ring, increase, and play Sword of Gondor this round. Um, but then we are not playing the Prospector next round. And we would be able to play the Longbeard Elder next round, though. We'll be able to play the Longbeard Elder next round regardless. So I think we're just going to hang out and not do anything for our dwarf friends over here. We'll draw a card with his Ancient Mathem. Alrighty, that's exciting. Let's go ahead and spend one. Ooh, you know what? We got a three. We're showing one. I'm kind of thinking that I would much rather have the card draw over here. And so I'm curious. Let's switch these. I'm curious if I will actually be able to push this away. I don't know if I do. I don't know if I want to is, I guess, the better I are better saying there. So let's spend one. Let's play Ancient Mathem, which allows the first player to draw some cards whenever it is explored. But I don't know if I'm set up for a enemy yet. So we're going to be kind of pulling our reins a little bit, I think. We'll see how that goes. Let's go ahead and spend one here to play the War Axe on Aylmer. You get plus one attack for every restricted item you have on you. And so Aylmer is up to a four attack. And then we will drop a horse breeder in with Miss L's ability to try and find Firefoot. Um, and potentially, if we do quest successfully, play the Gondorian Spearman. So let's go ahead and start questing a little bit. Let's go three, six. They get the plus one because Dane is ready. And here we go. We'll count these up. I really, this helped me a lot last time. So we got six here. And then we're showing one. Because when you reveal multiple cards, there's a lot of counting going on. So we're showing one in the staging area. And I reveal oh wait, no. I want to uh <laughs> I want to go three more here. Takes us up to nine. And honestly, I don't know. So we're showing nine. I don't really want to push this that much. That being said, I do have the sneak attacks, I have the Gandalfs, I have like a lot of solutions in here. Um, 
But I think the card draw is going to come easier to our dwarfs than it is to our Rohan characters. So I'm going to back off of Nori. We're going to quest for six. If we go eight here, that's going to be seven. Four. I think I think we can set it up so that we don't push through here if we only quest with eight. We'll see, though. We'll see. All right. The first card here is a Ruins of Arnor. After the win revealed effects of a treachery card is canceled, raise each player's threat by two. And then we've got uh, win reveal. Each player deals one damage to a hero controls. Attach cold from Agmar to the current quest. Counts as a condition. Treat each damage character printed text box as if it were blank except for keywords and traits. That is so brutal. So, so brutal. Um, and we, and we blitz through that so we're getting an enemy oh crud um oh and also when i do this i am gonna go ahead and do that when entering play two four six eight ten we're looking for a fire foot um no deal and then that will get shuffled back into our deck um to a hero he controls Oh, that's so brutal. Uh, we'll deal it over here to Ori. Deals one damage, and then they their text box is blank. So we don't get to draw the extra cards there. Ooh, that's brutal. That is a weather. So that will surge. Into search the uh, search the ruins. It surges at the end of the refresh phase. Raise each player's threat by two. After search the ruins is defeated, reduce each player's threat by three. Okay, that surges into a uh, weathered hilltop. It gets plus one threat for each weather or for each resource on it. After a weather treasure is revealed from the encounter deck, place one resource token here. So actually, I need to do that here. There's so much going on. Okay, so I I went for nine, I think, right? Five, eight, nine. And we are showing uh, one, three, five. So we place three here. That clears. Our dwarves get to draw a Gloin, a Gandalf, and a Sneak Attack. All right, well, that, that kind of worked out. Um. Not too bad. And then we did clear a location, so we'll reveal the Agmar Orc. Either discard one ally from play or reveal an additional encounter card. We'll go ahead and discard the Westfold Horse Breeder. It does not go back into our deck, but we're good. Okay. We are going to spend one to activate Mr. H's ability to play the Spearman here. Okay. We are going to travel somewhere. Um, probably the Weather Hills. I think we're just going to travel here. And then let's go ahead and optionally engage over here for the uh, Spearman. I'm going to go ahead and defend. That will go ahead and put one damage. And he's attacking for two. Gets plus one uh, for each damage character the defending player controls. That's zero. But it is enough to take out the Spearman. And then we have Aomer, who is attacking for six, which will be enough to take him out. Actually, I think this goes into a separate percentile. Okay, well, that's exciting. We do have another Spearman, so we can kind of do that same strategy if we pull another Orc, which I think we probably want to do because I want to... Oh, and then we add one resource there for hunting the Orcs. I want to blitz through this, search the ruins. 
because we're just going to go crazy with the the added threat. So we're going to go ahead and add one threat, one threat, and then at the end of the refresh phase, we're going to add two. So we're going to go up to 31 and 30. I'm going to pass this and stand everybody up. Okay. We will draw a card here. It's another horse breeder. That's nice to see. And then we will pass out money. Because those horse breeders are what's finding us Firefoot, which is really important. We'll pass out money over here. We'll draw into a another hidden cache. Of course we draw into those hidden caches, right? Ugh, hilarious. Alrighty. I potentially may want to bring along some healing. Just to get rid of that. Or ways to to ditch tread or condition cards. Um, I don't think that we are in a spot where we want to sneak attack Gandalf right now. I think we can use that a lot for damage. Um, and if we can, we can hold off until next round to kind of like start sniping some of those. I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything. I probably am, but that's, that's, that's where we are at this point. Let's go ahead and spend two from Dane. We're going to throw Steward of Gondor on Dane. And then we will exhaust Steward of Gondor to give two money back to Dane. We do have uh we do have the condition. We have one of the dwarfs that does the condition stuff, right? Yeah, we do. We 100% do. So let's go ahead and spend Let's go ahead and spend two from Ori to play the Prospector. We'll discard the top three cards of our deck, and then we can shuffle one of them back into our deck. Test of Will, Narvi's Belt, and the Hammersmith. Um, we're going to shuffle Narvi's Belt back in. Just trying to hope to get one of those miners. That would have been fun. Okay. And we're going to reduce our threat by one. We could play the magic ring. Oh, wait, actually? No, this is put into play versus play. No, I was going to say I could stand and fight the hammersmith to try and get Narvi's belt if I didn't shuffle it back in, but it's not how that works, unfortunately. Um, I think what... We could go magic ring. We may we may actually go magic ring on Ori and then we can heal Ori. It's not I don't hate that idea cuz magic ring we can heal. We can add resources to the resource pool or ready the hero. Ori is a fairly decent stat line as well. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and spend 2 from Nori. Uh yeah. Let's spend two from Nori to play the magic ring onto Ori. Then we can heal him um, and get that additional card draw in a couple rounds. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't think we are going to spend any more money. I'm actually going to split that. So Nori is going to pay one and Dane is going to play pay one. And I think we're going to be good there. Let's take a look over here. Um, let's go ahead and just spend one to play Westfold Horse Breeder. We're going to look for the top 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. We're going to see if we can find Firefoot. There he is. Perfect. So we got Firefoot. Uh, we can attach to a Rohan or a Tactics character. And then they get plus one or plus two attack if they are Aomer. 
and after the attack attached hero attacks alone, we can exhaust Firefoot to choose a non-unique enemy engaged with you and deal excess damage to that chosen enemy. So this is going to be great because we're going to be dealing with a lot of orcs. <laughs> um, I don't know if we need Firefoot on the table right now. Um, and I think we can probably sneak around it a little bit and try and get another Spearman on the table. I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to do that. Okay, so we are showing one, two, so three total here in the staging. We're going to be questing on Search the Ruins. And we do have five progress here. And we are probably going to be resolving at least three encounter cards, which is very scary. So let's go ahead and commit characters to the quest. We're going to go three, five, six, seven. We're going to use Miss L's ability to go nine there. And then when he leaves play, we'll get to ready both of our characters here. I guess Westfold Horse Breeder as well. So uh, so that's nine. We're going to go three, six, eight to take us to 17. We got 17. We do have a sneak attack Gandalf, which panic button we can get rid of. Um, but I'm really hoping to just get rid of search the ruins. Um, yeah, that would be that'd be great, actually, if we could. First up is a weather. So this will surge. Um, each player assigns X damage on one character where X is the number of quest cards in play. Then they exhaust each damage character. Okay, we're going to go one two oh, wait each player so we have to do we both have to do this um one Stupid condition attachment here. I may need to start accelerating card draw. Um, oh, I don't actually want to damage here because then the... No, I could. I could because I could heal and then after everything readies, there's another action window which I could heal again. But we can do that. Um, I don't know. That's brutal. Um... Already did it over here. Uh, I'm I'm looking over here. <laughs> this will blank out the text box. We go the horse breeder. We're just gonna hit the horse breeder. Okay. Brutal. Okay. We got the surge. We need a counter here, and here. Next up, we got Concealed Orc Camp. While it's the active location, it gains response. When it is explored, place one resource token on the mission objective. Alrighty, so that's nice. The first player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for an orc enemy and puts it into play engage with them to travel here. So that makes me think that this actually does stick over here. Then we've got uh, another weather, but I think only the first weather treachery is... Um, surged. Each assign X damage among characters committed to the quest, where X is the number of characters committed to the quest. Brutal. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage to assign. And that feels very lethal. Um, yikes. Uh, we'll go three on Nori. I'm not damaging Dane because of that. Um, so that's three, four, five.
six seven. Um, we will not win this game. I'm calling it now. I don't. There's there's no chance. Uh, so three five uh seven is what happens when I try and just take up the same deck. We're gonna place ten. So five and five, and we don't even clear that. Brutal. But we are gonna get a orc enemy, which is awesome. Okay. Got the Agmar Captain. After it attacks and destroys an ally, discard the top card of the defending player's deck. If the discarded card is an ally, it makes an additional attack against the defending player. So that is hanging out there now. Alrighty. Um, I hate it. I I hate it. Yeah. What we're going to do is we are going to travel here. We're going to use our West Road Traveler to swap the active location so we don't have to use the travel thing here. Um, but yeah, we're not going to engage that captain. This guy is going to go back into our deck. Um, we... we mm, no, because I can't take a second attack. If we take a second attack, we'll lose. We will lose. Um, so we're just going to leave him up there. We're at 30 and 30. So, so yeah. We will go ahead and spend the money to put the Spearman into play. Just to cheat him out a little bit easier. There we go. Alrighty, I'm going to pass this over here. We're actually going to raise our threat to heal one. And then we're going to... I guess it doesn't matter. Because we're not getting the card draw now. So we're just, we're just going to do that. And we're going to stand up. I think I need healing. Uh, team, I think I need healing. There, there, there is a little bit of healing... It'll be interesting. Alrighty. Uh, that passed. So let's go ahead and pass out money. We'll draw a card. Test of will. Alrighty. Scary. Uh, actually, we have to increase our threat. I never increase my threat. So I go up to 33 and 32. We'll pass out money on this side of the table. No, it's 33 and 34 because I increased my threat by three. Ugh, gross. Alrighty, what do we got over here? The escort from Eteros. While committed to a quest, they get plus two. And after resolving uh, a quest, you discard them from play. Alrighty. It is our dwarfs first. We'll go ahead and spend three... To play Gloin. Uh, we do not get to reduce our threats because we have um, his damage. While you control at least five dwarf characters, after you play Gloin from your hand, add two resources to a hero's resource pool. I think we're going to just straight up give that back to Dane. Um, we could give it over here to Miss L. And then that gives us a, a couple of drops on this side. But I think if we just give it to Dane, we'll be okay. Then we don't have a sneak attack. If we give it to Dane, we don't get to play... I would play Longbeard Elder, but we wouldn't get to play a sneak attack. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass it over here. Yeah, okay. Anything else? I think we're going to hang on to the test of will. We got a sneak attack. Um, and actually, I think we may engage over here in sneak attack to try and start beating up on this Agmar captain. I think that makes a lot of sense. So we'll have to see where we're questing at, but 
now let's do uh let's spin two to play west road traveler and we will swap these two and then we do not have to resolve the travel and we are showing a, a three five eight here in the staging we got two here that's 10 and we need to place three more so that's going to be 13 is kind of that target value that we really need plus plus the cards um and if we travel and we get rid of this then we will have another enemy to deal with which is a little scary actually i i'm uh i feel woefully underprepared we'll go ahead and spend two to play firefoot onto aylmer Aylmer's up to nine attacks, so we can really just kind of end anything that comes near us. So I guess we do have the Spearman who can take the whatever comes, whatever comes, um, we can block there. And then if we can use the Gandalf sneak attack and block here, we have a chance where we can attack for probably not enough to kill it. I don't know if I want to use the Gandalf. I feel like I need to use the Gandalf for. I guess I could use the Gandalf for damage. I want to hang off and not do that if I don't need to. Let's go three, six, nine, twelve. So we, what did I say? We got 8, 10, 13. If we add um, 4, that would put us at 17. So let's go ahead and go 3 here. Uh, then we'll go plus 4. So that puts us at 19 right there. Um, if we quest with West Road Traveler, that puts us at 21. So I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out if I can choose not to quest with some of these folks. Because if we sneak attack Gandalf in and block the Agmar Captain, we need to do 7 damage. This is 3, 4, 5 six seven but that is minus nine so not enough um if we if we sneak attack gandalf in for damage then we we only need three attack and so we can reduce we can not quest here i think we're going to do that we're going to not quest there so we're going to be questing for 18 total i really hope we push through this we got two cards first one is find shelter surge time four after the last time counter is removed each player deals four damage to a hero he controls then plays four time counters on this card so we got to get rid of that um here are my time counters. Okay. Surges into the sheltered valley while it is the active location. It gains when sheltered valley is explored. Heal all damage from one character. Remove one resource token from a mission objective to travel there. That's amazing. We're definitely going to be doing that. And an ancient causeway for each. When ancient causeway is explored, raise each player's threat by two. So that's going to give us five, eight. 11, 13 total there. We're going to place two and we place three. We hit it perfectly. That's big. That's really, really big. So that gets explored. This clears. After this clears, uh, reduce each player's threat by three. One, two, three. One, two, three. We explored a active location. So we are going to reveal a Agmar Marauder. After it attacks and destroys an ally, return it to the staging area. That's going to be annoying. 
I actually may, ooh, I may actually sneak attack Gandalf in and just snipe this guy. Then I could, I could just straight up play Gandalf next turn and take out the uh, captain. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. I'm going to put this guy here. Where are we traveling? Um, I think we're going to go ahead and travel here. While it's the active location, it gains response. When it is explored, heal all damage from one character. I think that's going to be very beneficial for us. Uh, so let's go ahead and travel there. Although this weathered hills is really annoying. Let's go to the weathered hills. I think we can do sheltered valley later because that's just going to get a little ridiculous okay so that puts us at two four um seven because we're engaging both of these enemies so let's go ahead and add that to seven there and this guy gets discarded we have no we don't have a hand over here which is not where you want to be um trying to figure out how to because like if i if i attack the agmar captain like i can assign the damage to the marauder but it, it's not going to work out because i don't have the the defense um i could block Paragon. i i have a chance that that kills me and then the agmar captain may attack again so i don't i don't think i can do that i think I th actually no, I think I have to. Um because um but but we're okay. We're okay. I'm going to optionally engage over here. I'm going to uh engage here. And then I'm going to go ahead and spend the one resource from Dane to sneak attack Gandalf. Deal 4 damage here. Just going to add a token there. And then we've got a attack of 5 which we will block with Gandalf. Um, no shadow effect. Gandalf takes the damage, which means he stays around, which is insane. Oh no, he's he's he got snuck attack, so he'll pop back. But next turn, I can block, and this blinks out the text box. And then he does not have the text that he gets discarded at the end of the round. So we're a hundred thousand percent playing Gandalf next round. It's kind of cool. Nice. All right, uh, let's go ahead and attack for four. We'll deal two damage. So actually, I don't think I'm going to snipe the captain with Gandalf with the play because I want to uh, block at least one so I can get a damage on him so he stays around. That that's kind of interesting. I'm kind of a big fan of that. Alrighty, so this is gonna tick down to three. We only raise our threat by one this time, which is nice. Uh Gandalf's back in my hand. This passes. We're gonna draw into a red arrow. Nice. We'll pass out money. Uh, we'll go ahead and spend one to play the red arrow on to Miss L. So she gets plus one willpower. And then as a valor response, you can add it to the staging gear to search her deck for an ally and put it in play. But she's always questing. So we need some card draw in our Rohan deck. I mentioned this last time. I, 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 I really just wanted to see if I could do it without um, messing with the deck builds. Um, but that will be something that we need to do. Draw a card over here, which is stand and fight. We can pull out the spearman, honestly. Spearman's not bad. Um, what else do we got? 
we got a test of will we've got a long beard elder oh we're definitely playing uh Two, four, five to play Mr. Gandalf. Gandalf enters play. We can uh, choose to draw three cards, deal four damage to an enemy, or reduce our threat by five. I'm going to draw three cards. Sneak attack, lure of Moria, and a Narvi's belt. There we go. There's the belt. That's good. That's very, very good for us. We do have a test of will. Okay, we'll figure that out later. Gandalf is going to be a block here. I'm hoping to get that damage so we do not have to discard him from play. So then we just have uh, Absolute Monster on the field, and that's always fun. Is there anything else we are doing here? We could... No, I think I want to hang on to the money for the test of will. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to have raised my threat last time and healed here, and then I get one more card draw because I own the five dwarfs, which is a Gandalf. Alrighty. So we do have the sneak attack Gandalf, so whenever we lose this, Gandalf will get discarded, but then we, ha we have the, the answer right there. Alrighty. Let's commit some characters. We are going to be questing um, here. After the last time counter is removed from the quest card... Deal four damage. Luckily, we can deal it to Dane. I don't want to, but we can. Alrighty, so let's quest for four, six. We're showing seven in the staging. We're showing seven in the staging. There's five here and six here. Um, we can take a little bit of time to, to push through that, I think. Um, we'll go two more. We will go uh, three to take us up to 11. We'll go three to take us up to 14. We'll go three to take us up to 17. Two takes us up to 19. I'm not going to quest with Ori. So that's going to take us down to 16. We're showing seven. So there's a chance that we push through here, but not there. Um, but then we can swing back here and take out the orc. I need to remember to keep this exhausted. Okay. We got two cards. We do have a test of will. First card is win revealed. Raise each player's threat by the threat of the active location. That's going to be three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's not a weather. This is the explored ridge. While well, it's the active location, the end of the refresh phase, each player deals one damage to a character that they control. Ugh. I hate it. That puts us at 10 here. So we actually do a little bit better than I was kind of expecting. We do clear here. Um, which will add another orc. After it engages a player and it makes an immediate attack. I hate that. I hate that. Um, and then we will go ahead and... Let's go down here. We're going to have to remove a counter, but then we're going to be able to heal all of the damage. And we'll probably choose Nori here because I want to get the, the, the threat reduction for playing my dwarves. Okay. We will engage here. He will make an immediate attack, which is always fun. We'll block with the Spearman. Boom. Uh, attacking enemy gets plus one if it destroys the character. Defending player raises their threat by two. Oh, no. Alrighty. 
Then uh, he will attack again. Block with block here. Uh, deal one damage to the defending character. Alrighty. But we don't take any we don't take any damage. Um oh we actually do place one here. Alrighty. We've got uh Gandalf blocking the captain. No shadow effect. We take one damage, which is perfect. Now Gandalf's text box is blank. We will not lose him. And we will... Oh, he has five health. I don't know what I was thinking. So it's going to be two, four. Uh, to deal two damage. That's a bummer. I really thought I had... I, I don't know what I was thinking. Alrighty. Let's stand up. Time ticks down. We'll need to push through that this round. Not not loving where we're at. I'm gonna go up to 37. 37. Pass out money. The, uh, actually, I'm gonna grab some of these spearmints. With our stand and fight. Because the stand and fight can grab a spearman. Which is a sentinel. And we can use it to block here or here. And take them out before we ever. Uh, do anything. So we're going to draw into a longbeard elder. And we're going to draw into a riddermark knight. Alrighty. I probably should have cancelled the raise each player's threat by three. But then I would have just raised my threat by two. <laughs> We'll spend two to play Narvi's Belt here on Dane. We can exhaust Narvi's Belt to give them a specific resource icon for the rest of the phase. Oh, we have two stand and fights. I don't think I realized that. That's pretty exciting. That that can get us out of the situation that we're in. All right, let's go two for a stand and fight. We'll play the Spearman. Oh, we actually get to draw another card because in Nori, which is a dwarf fight, which a card is discarded from your deck, exhaust dwarf fight to place that card on the bottom of your deck. Nice. Um, and then we will go ahead and exhaust Narvi's Belt to give ourselves the spirit resource icon. Play stand and fight to play a second copy of Spearman. And we have our defense strategy here. We still have money for a test of will. Um, next, next round, we can probably play a Longbeard Elder if we wanted to. If we clear this, then we get the, the, the cost savings there. We have a Rittermark Knight. We might as well play him. Um, nice. Okay. We are showing three, six, eight in the staging. We've got a four here. We're going to be questing on there. And we're going to be, we're going to go pretty hard here. Let's go uh, four, or I'm sorry, three, six, nine, 13, 15 from our dwarfs. We've got uh, four, takes us up to 19. Uh, two, takes us up to 21. And then... Got Haragon for two to take us up to 23. We do have a cancel. Let's see what we got. Weather assign X damage. We are going to go ahead and cancel this. It still surges, but let's go ahead and spend one to cancel because I, I can't. I can't deal that damage right now. Surges into uh, each player deals one damage to hero controls. Attached cold uh, to the current quest and counts as a condition attachment to each damaged character's printed text box as if it were blank. This is each person does this. Yep. We're going to go there and there. OK. 
Okay. And then we've got a make camp. This is going to surge. Characters cannot be healed. No! No! Oh. What a brutal pull. All righty. Characters cannot be healed. That's so mean that that's in the same deck. Each player assigns X damage among characters he controls, where X is the number of quest cards in play, then exhaust each damage character. So we got three. Uh, we'll go one, two, three. So one, two, three. Frederick Marcus exhausted. Requested for, we're still only showing eight. Requested for 23, so that's going to clear here, which will get us a uh, Agmar Arc. Discard one ally from play or reveal an additional encounter card. Um, we can discard the Orc or the, the Prospector. <sighs> can't believe I did that. I can't believe that happened. We'll add another one here. Uh, this does clear. So actually, I think it's only two damage that I have to assign. Oh, wait, no. No, no, no. I can't. I can't. That's so, so sad. Um. Okay. And I have to raise each player start by two. Takes us to 39 and 39. Team, I am not feeling great. Um, let's go here. We'll engage here. Pass out shadow cards. I uh, will block here, which will take him out. We will block here, which will take him out. And the spearmen are still around, actually, because the we never got to the assigned damage phase, so that's pretty nice. Um, that's up to four. We will block with Dane for three on the attack of two. Either raises the threat by three, or it's considered undefended. So we'll raise our threat by three. Um, we're at 42. Yikes. Yikes. All righty. Um, cool. We will move that over here. Unexhaust everybody. At least we're about to be in Valor response territory for our red arrow, so that's nice. It's a silver lining right there, right? Forgot to attach that. Okay. Raise our threat to 40 and 43. We will go ahead and raise our... Now we won't. I'm not going to raise our threat more for uh, card draw. So let's go ahead and pass out money. So, so it's looking rough, my friends. We will draw into a Westworld Horse Traveler. So that's nice. And we've got a... Minor, I swear I have drawn all of these. Well, I guess I haven't been discarding any cards this round, so that's fine. But still, um, so we don't have any ways to cancel. I think we're gonna just spend one to play hidden cash to draw 
a Gloin. Okay, so that's good to know. I would much rather play another Gloin than keep this one around. I think in the long run of things. Um, I think we'll go ahead and spend three here to play Longbeard Elder. Can't, I cannot believe that we we hit the cannot be healed on the flip where we cleared the thing that could heal. All right. Did I do any? I, I didn't even take my turn over here. Um, We'll go ahead and play a West Road Traveler. We're not going to activate that. I think the only the only path forward is to blitz this thing. Um, in the current phase, shuffle the encounter discard pile in the orc deck into the encounter deck, reveal orc ambush, and so we would get more orcs. Each damage character gets minus one willpower, which is tough. Um, but then we do get all of our we get all of our stuff back because these get discarded. Beginning of the quest phase, either discard one resource token from Savage Counterattack or reveal an additional counter card to this phase. Okay, we're 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 gonna go crazy. We're we're gonna see what we can do. Um actually I think at that point I I'm not going to have traveled. I don't think I should have traveled there. Okay. So we are showing uh, three, six, eight. We want to quest on make camp. We have a orc here that we can take out, which will be enough to clear uh, hunting the orcs, which will flip us into our next stage. Gandalf would go away, but then, I mean, we still have this sneak attack for Gandalf next round to hopefully save one of them that's coming in. Um, we also need to save some damage here. So if we block with the Spearman, that's going to be one damage. We would need to assign five more points of damage. Or five more damage, right? Um... I wonder what that is. I wonder what that looks like. I don't know. Um, there's one. Gandalf is five. Yeah, I guess I guess that can be it. If we if we keep Gandalf around, Dane is two, three. Four, five, but I mean that's three willpower. But yeah, I think I can get more willpower if I go one, two, three. Four. Oh no, because I won't be ready. So I can I can not go with Ori. I can go three, seven, um, ten, thirteen. And then I have a block, and then I have uh, one, two, three, four, five damage that I can assign. Two, four, five. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. Over here, we will go ahead and quest for uh, two, four, eight. So that puts us at... Um, 21. Uh, and there's a decent chance that I choose to um, trigger this Valor response soon to get an ally. If we could hit, I don't know what we would actually want, so maybe I won't. 
Okay. So requesting for 21, showing 8 onto make camp. First card is a concealed orc camp. While well, it's the active location, it gains, uh, when it's explored, place one resource on the mission objective. And we have to search the encounter deck and discard power for an orc enemy and put it into play to travel there. And we've got another one. So that is going to show us 12 in the staging. We quested for 21 so we can clear make camp. We get to heal three damage from a hero we control. So we'll heal three here. And we will heal three from let's go Aylmer. So I'm going to see if I can try and assign a lot more damage to one spot. Uh, we will travel now. Uh, we're going to travel. No. Well, these are going to be gone. So I actually think I'm going to have. I don't know. Oh, and I, I healed over here. Okay. I don't want an orc right now. Um, so these are just going to hang out, I think. I don't think I can afford to raise my threat by uh, two here. So I think I'm just going to travel here. Deal one damage to a character that we control. It's going to stink for our Rohans, but here we are. Okay. We are going to defend here. It's going to deal a damage. He's going to attack for two. No shadow effect. This guy leaves play. We will attack with one, two, three, four, five, assigning two points of damage to take him out, which will add one point here, which will immediately flip us. Uh, after it enters play, advance to stage 2A. When revealed, in the current phase, shuffle the encounter card, discard pile on the orc deck into the encounter deck, reveal orc ambush and aim in uh, Forn and add him to the staging area. After an enemy attacks and destroys a character, discard one resource token from savage counterattack. If there are no counters here, we lose the game. These also get... If I flip into that, if I flip into the... Uh, um, that condition attachment again. I'm gonna I'm gonna flip this table. You'll see it. Uh, in the current phase, uh, yep, yep, yep. Each damage character gets minus one willpower. The beginning of the quest phase, either discard one resource token from Savage Counterattack or reveal an additional encounter card. And we've got um, Aim and Forn, immune to player card effects. While it's the active location, after an orc enemy is added to the staging area, it makes an immediate attack against the first player. We cannot win while this is in the staging area. Or while this is unexplored. Or while it's in play, I guess. And then we've got orc ambush. Each orc enemy gets plus one to all their stats. When, except for health, which is important. Each player must search the encounter deck and shuffle a discard pile for an orc enemy and put it into play and engage with them. Okay. Let's find... Um, Four health. Allies for Gandalf to snipe. And you put it into play. Um, so I think we're going to go here for the Agmar Orc. And a Marauder here. So we can sneak attack Gandalf in, snipe him. Feel pretty good about that. Okay. This is all shuffled up. Oof.
I have no idea how this is going to end up. Uh, we're honestly doing better than I thought we were, but it's going to be tough. Oh, no. We have those stupid deal damage to everything in existence cards back in the deck. I need more. <laughs> I need more test of wills. <laughs> okay. Phase ends. While this is the active location, we're going to deal a damage to Gandalf. Um, and then he's going to just leave play at the end of the round. And then we're going to deal a damage over here. We're going to deal it to Aylmer now that we don't have those uh, conditions. Okay. Let's stand up. Okay. This passes. Uh, we'll increase our threat to 44 and 41. This is insane. Uh, okay. We will draw two cards. We got Unexpected Courage and a Minor. Of course we did. Uh, of course. Of course. Of course. And then over here, we'll draw into uh, Westfold Lancer. After Westfold Lancer quest successfully discarded to choose a non-unique enemy in the staging area to deal two damage to that enemy. Kind of cool. It'd be kind of cool. And I go... All of that. Alrighty. Sweet. Sweet. Um, oh, and money. Yeah. Pretty. Did I already give money out here? I don't think so. Oh, God. We're going to sneak attack Gandalf in this uh, um, quest phase. Trying to figure out if there's anything I can do. I can go... I can throw Dane out there. All right, I'm sorry. Unexpected Courage on Dane if we wanted to. That gets us plus two. All right, I guess I do have the flexibility of Narvi's belt as well. Um... I think we're going to spend two, three, and play the minor. It's going to reduce our threat by one. We're not hanging on to any. I think we're going to spend three to play a second minor. Reduce our threat by one. And we'll sneak attack Gandalf in. What are we showing up here? We got 4, 8, 10, 13. We got a 3 there. We don't want to hit Orc Ambush. Over here. Um, I really need more card draw. Which which we have the we have a card that whenever a ally leaves play, you get to draw a card. And I think I had that last game, and that made this deck work. I don't... It it, it, it needs that card. I think it's a mulligan target. Um, I, I'm still learning the decks as well. Alrighty. I think we just play this. Throw out the Westfold Lancer. The nice thing is that there are enemies in this deck with two health. So that, that could be big. We're going to remove one here. Um, we're going to be questing on Orc Ambush. And let's see what we got. Uh, first off, we're going to sneak attack Gandalf. And we're going to deal four damage here. Alrighty. So we got two, four, eight, eleven, fourteen, seventeen. 20. We're showing 12. Honestly, that's not bad. We got uh, two here. Uh, four. Or two more. 26. And then we will go uh, four. 
which puts us at 30, um, which feels pretty good. Let's start stacking some of these similar ones. There's so many locations. Northern Tracker would also be pretty solid in this quest, I think. Um, but I mean, like, we, we are questing for a lot. And so that is at least something that is nice. There, There's a... I'm wondering if we... I'm kind of thinking that we actually quest on the main. We quest on the main, we travel to Aemon Forn, um, and then we quest on it again as hard as we did this time, and I think we have it. All right, let's see what happens. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Do we still have the weather? No, the weather is fine. All righty. So we're showing 13. We're going to flip into after it engages a player and makes an immediate attack. This is going to be perfect for our West Fold Lancer. That's going to add 3 to take us up to 16. And then a Ruins of Arnor when revealed effect on a treachery is canceled. It's plus 2 threat raise. That's going to take us up to 18. So we add 12. 3 goes here. 9 goes here. So maybe, maybe not actually. Uh, maybe we don't have enough. I probably should have gone on Orc Ambush, but here we are. So that clears. We're going to choose Westfold Lancer to discard it to deal two damage here. Okay, we will travel here. So now we're showing two, four, six, eight. 11. Okay. We've got an attacker over here. Uh, yeah, we'll block with the Spearman. We'll deal one damage. Two. No shadow effect. He does die. So we will take one down there. Then we'll swing and take him out. He's got four defense. Uh, Aomer's attacking for nine. So we're good. Okay. This will pass. Gandalf is was back in my hand for a while. Um, okay. We're going to increase to 42 and 43. Draw into... Oh, ooh, okay. All right. Well, I guess that doesn't... It, it helps us with enemies. It helps us with some enemies that come down. Um, hey, a record keeper. Pass out money. Where's my car? Draw... Alrighty. Well, this will be exciting. Um, okay. Um, I don't think we're going to do anything over here. I think, I think this is a time where I do not quest. All right. I do not play Gandalf. Because I think what this is going to look like is triggering this Valor response here. And if we hit Gandalf, that would be great. And I don't want to not be able to hit Gandalf. So, I think that's what we're going to do. So, we're not going to play Gandalf over here. We're not going to play anything over here. So, let's go ahead and spend one to play the Record Keeper. Reduce the threat by one. Um, we could probably take loin out at some point so we can yeah we'll go three for a long tiered elder oh and actually i get another card draw which is a test of will which is big Ooh, all righty 
so that's nice. It will raise both of our threats by two, which would be scary, but it is what it is. Okay. Let's quest. Um, I think we will quest on the main again. If we flip two enemies, we're in a lot of trouble. Um, we could block with Dane. But that gets a little scary. I'm just thinking from like a... Uh, uh, I, I I think we just have to to hope that the RNG gods are kind to us and that we're a, oh we're also gonna be attacked. For each each enemy that is revealed gets attacked. I'm going to remove one of these. Um We're gonna quest on Oof. It's kind of exciting. Um, let's, let's count it up. Makes an immediate attack against the first player. Against the first player. Ooh, that's way worse. Because I don't have a defensive strategy over here. I could potentially block with Aomer. But if we flip two enemies, now we're in a lot of trouble. I'm wondering if I should not have traveled there. I probably should have traveled somewhere else. Alrighty. Oh, and I can't cancel anything because I'm raising a threat by four when I do that. Okay. Uh, RNG. Fingers crossed. Let's go. I don't have any Sentinel. Uh, so three, six, nine, eleven. 13, 15, 18, 21. Twenty five. Put uh, Amund in uh, for twenty seven. They were showing eleven. One, two. One, two. Um, we're, we're actually in a situation where if we flip two enemies, we can sacrifice here. Showing 31. Okay, 31. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. First one is a Agmar Orc. Discard one ally from play or reveal an additional encounter card. Um, we will... This is over here. Um, we will discard the Westroad Traveler. So we'll go down two. Westroad Traveler comes here. Um, and we're getting an immediate attack made against us. For two, we will block with Aomer. So it's going to be uh, two. It's plus one for each damage character the defending player controls. One, two, three, four. So he attacks for six. That will take out Aomer. Uh-oh. That's uh, not good. That's bad. Brutal. All righty. Aomer's gone. When revealed, each raise each player's threat by the threat of the active location. So that's going to be four. Uh, takes us up to 46 and 45. We go back into the deck. We'll ready up everybody here. Uh, we will go ahead and Valor response here. So after the hero quest successfully, which actually let's count this up. So it's going to be just added three, right? So that's 14. To 29 meaning that we add 15 we've got uh six here and nine goes here so we're up to 18 okay 
Let's go ahead and Valor response. We're going to add this to the victory display and search the top five cards for our deck for an ally. Two, four, five. Firefoot, Gulaf, Knight. I guess we'll grab a uh, Gulaf. Alrighty. He does gain Sentinel, so that's nice. Um, I think we're going to actually engage the Orc over here on Dane, and we can block with Dane. Let's go ahead and grab him. We'll defend with Dane. It's going to be two plus zero. We take no damage. We did lose Aylmer, but we're in a situation. Actually, he attacked for three because of the Orc ambush. Um, I, I, I'm not going to travel. Um, actually, I'm going to travel here. Um, yeah. <laughs> if we lose, we lose. All right. Uh, let's stand up. We're going to pass this over here. Oh, we lose a counter here. Because we lost uh Oh shoot, that's bad. That's real bad. Cuz I thought I was going to have one more to be able to discard from there. So we're going to have to reveal three encounter cards, which that's probably going to be lethal. Go up to 47, 46. We do have a Gandalf. So that's nice. Draw into a miner and a miner. And we've got a faint. All righty. Pass out money. Okay. How are we feeling? Um, I think it's a Gandalf drop. What do we do with the Gan? I do we? I don't think we draw cards. I don't think there's any reason to draw cards. Um, I think it's a threat reduction just in case we do have to cancel something and then, you know, this player will lose. I actually don't know how it works if one player loses. I have no idea. We'll figure that out. Is this correct? We got uh, two, four, six, eight. We're only showing eight, so that's nice. All right, let's go one, two, three, four, five. We'll play Gandalf. We will reduce our threat by five. Go down to 41. All righty. Pass over here. We'll hang on to the feint. Requesting on the main. We'll see how it goes, my friends. We're going to resolve one additional card um because i cannot remove from there yeah it's kind of exciting um we got four six eight ten thirteen sixteen nineteen uh twenty Uh, two, 25. And one of the things that I'm kind of thinking about right now is if we do flip the card, which is deal damage for every uh, questing character, 
like these can soak themselves these can soak themselves um we can soak a lot onto dane and our dwarves over here so i think we have the ability to quest even further over here we can throw it on the knights um we got two three four five eight so that's going to take us up to 33. 33 is going to be our number we're resolving three encounter cards and we are going to try not to cry here we go uh explored ridge exposed ridge um nothing that we care about When you're able to assign X damage among characters committed to the quest, where X is the number of characters committed to the quest. That's the one I was kind of worried about. Uh, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 damage to assign. So we'll go 3, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now, if we flip another one of those, which we do, uh, <laughs> uh, so it's 13 more damage. If I play Test of Will, this character loses, and I don't know how to resolve that, honestly. Um, And these have to be, actually, it has to be assigned to characters committed among the quest. So I'm going to... Um, I, 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 we're going to cancel it. And then we'll raise um, each player's threat by two. So we'll go to 45. And we will uh, go to 51. So this character is eliminated. And so we will lose uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 5, 8. So we'll go down to 25. And then we are showing, I think only 11. So that's uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 11. Yep. Uh, so 2. So 11 compared to 25. Um, oh, this is only 20. For some reason, I thought it was 30. Uh, <laughs> probably didn't need to quest that hard, uh, which probably could have saved this car or this this uh, deck over here. Um, but yeah, so we'll we'll add two, and then we'll add enough to clear there. I think that worked. Um, if uh, if one character being eliminated into the game i lost if it doesn't i won uh that was intense i did not expect that that was going to end up that way so either a loss or a win let me know um i'll probably also do some research as well but uh yeah that was that's not a nice quest that was not a nice quest at all i think this one would have been a lot easier if you went like gondor where you have like a lot of defenders, you have Baragond and stuff like that, and you have the Gondorian shield, and then you can use your um, heroes as defenders, and you don't have to worry about reducing the tokens here. Um, and then Gondor, if you combine that with like a Faramir or something, because Gondor just loves to have all of the allies on the field, you can then use that to just kind of blitz and give everyone plus one uh, willpower. So I think I honestly think a Gondor and Dwarf deck would work out pretty well. I'm wondering if my Rohan deck is not really set up to be where it needs to be, um, and so I I may I may tweak it this a little bit or switch it out and play a, play a different deck. Um, but I'm thinking that the Rohan deck one the Rohan is not a archetype that I am familiar with at all. I I've not really played the Rohan archetype. I, I'm very familiar with dwarves. I'm very familiar with elves. I'm very familiar with Gondor. Not with Rohan, because I, I don't have these cards in my normal progression play. And so maybe it's just kind of, you know, the training wheels are still on and we're still figuring that out. Or I think, you know, I definitely need more card draw. What's the card here that I need to? Yeah, I need a, I need the Horn of the Mark. This is, this is going to be a 
mulligan target because it it just replaces every single card that leaves play um so yeah dang that was uh that was that was intense regardless of the outcome uh so thank you so very much for watching let me know what you think and we'll see you next time Thank you.